Various interest groups and businesses have been lobbying government to move forward. They want to secure agricultural produce and in other instances want to build processing plants. At the moment, October 2015 has been penciled in as the start date for this new sector. We are actually expecting that blending to start by then. So you'll recall also that already, for example, from the sugar industry, they already have almost ready a uh, uh, way of ensuring that there is biofuels in the mix. At least one player is keen for clarity. They want to build a bioethanol plant that will convert grain sorghum into bioethanol. We're at a point right now where every day counts. We are very aware of this looming deadline of 1 October 2015 when it becomes mandatory for petroleum manufacturers to blend locally produced bioethanol with petrol. In order for producers to meet that deadline, they obviously need to be operational and producing bioethanol at full capacity. In the past, there appeared to be a mismatch between private sector expectations and public sector processes. That seems to have made way for an action-oriented approach. So the project, the Mabela project, is going to benefit from when we release the regulations on how subsidies that are, that are going to be needed to boost the industry, uh, how are they going to be allocated. That's basically what we're trying to do right now. It couldn't have come at a better time. The country is struggling with massive unemployment coupled with an agricultural sector under pressure. The proposed biofuels industry will have a huge impact if its full potential is realized. During the construction phase, um, we'll be creating uh, between five to 600 direct and indirect jobs, but the bigger number, and, and this is what the biofuel sector is targeting, large-scale job creation. Our project is set to, over time, deliver between 15 to 18,000 jobs, the bulk of which is going to come through the agricultural supply chain. It's estimated that 158 million litres of bioethanol will be produced when the industry is producing at full capacity. 60% of that total demand for bioethanol will come from sorghum foodstock, based on the current regulatory framework, which also suggests that 2% of all locally produced petrol must be mixed and blended with bioethanol. The biofuel sector is waiting with bated breath for the green light, but this time it appears that government is serious and committed, firstly to biofuels, then to creating a new agricultural sector and job creation. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Johannesburg.